Well, Sean, I guess you can reflect on that on a, on a hard fought and well-deserved point from a, from a tough League 2 fixture. Yeah, it was tough. It was tough coming on the back of what's been a, a pretty eventful week as well. Um, we all know the highs of Monday night, but the, the, the repercussions of the game took our players into a, into a level of perhaps not being 100%. And I don't like making excuses, but it's not an excuse, it's a reason. You know, we came into, into today's fixture perhaps lower in terms of energy levels than we have been at many other parts of the season. But I thought we'd done well. You know, there's certain parts of today's game where we, we were able to show that energy. And there were certain parts of today where we were able to show a little bit of quality as well. But all in all, listen, we're disappointed, obviously. We're disappointed that we've not won the game. But we're taking the positives, you know. We that, that run continues. You know, we've we've gone up a, a position in the league, and we find ourselves closer to the top seven, which is the objective. I guess when you consider the, the obviously the extreme workload the players have been asked for in recent weeks, the way they started the game, particularly the way they came out, Leon, they got hitting the post pretty early, and that must have been a pretty pleasing factor. Yeah, I mean, it, it was a changing moment of the game. I felt if we'd have scored, then perhaps we could have had a, you know, a more comprehensive afternoon but we didn't you know it was a it was one of them situations where you got to regroup and I thought we um, you know we um, we played certain parts of the first half on the front foot certain parts you know a little bit little bit low in energy levels and I thought that probably you know carried into the second half where when the boy got sent off last 10 minutes perhaps we went a little bit long too early I'm picking listen I'm picking picking bones at the end of the day you know we've not lost the game it was a uh, it was vitally important for me coming into today's game that the rank you know the run continued yeah, absolutely obviously taking a very valuable point from this game slight frustration it could have been three obviously Luke Berry's penalty saved, saved very well by the keeper listen you know Luke will score more than he misses you know he's a, he's a goal scorer and he's disappointed sat in there but he's won as many games this season and he'll win as many games to continue he's a good player got a great mentality and he'll get through it listen the boys uh, they understand completely understand and I want us all to understand in the stadium you know it was one of them days today where you know we've got through it and we'll crack on ready for next week absolutely the point takes you up a place in the league as well and you're still right in the thick of the action there we are it's tight nothing's won or lost in January I keep saying that you know it's that accumulation of points right at the very end after 46 league games and you know let's hope that this is a positive point to that absolutely four weeks for next week's game another tough fixture against Mansfield Town? Oh, it'll be incredibly tough. You know, Steve's had a, a number of changes that he's made in the January window. You know, he's starting to implement his own style on the fi on the um, on the team, and the fixture will be hard. It'll be a hard, hard afternoon, much similar to this afternoon. Just quickly, two players joining the group this week. Obviously, you talked about Jake Carroll earlier in the week. Paul Lewis joined obviously on, on Friday morning. Uh, another exciting young player that joins the uh, joins Cambridge United ranks. Yeah, you know, Jake's had a little bit longer to work with us. Work with us on Thursday and Friday, so. Got a bit of information over to him today. I thought he played well today, Jake. And Paul's come in only yesterday morning, so he's had a half an hour, 45 minutes with the boys. But it was nice to get him in and around the group today. And we'll see more from these lads in the future. You know, they're not lads just for the short term. You know, we've signed them on long contracts and we've put a belief in them. And we'll see them contributing to Cambridge United for a long time.